taking on everything from the draft federal constitution and Bank Zamora basic law to an upcoming State of the Nation address, President Rodrigo Duterte today held his longest cabinet meeting yet, a 10-hour marathon session. Malu Echevarria has this story. Weeks from now, President Rodrigo Duterte will face his countrymen for his third State of the Nation address. Basically, the reason why the president and his cabinet members have to work double time. And this started yesterday, as everyone had to endure a 10-hour cabinet meeting, the longest so far under Duterte's watch. Ito po ang pinakamatagal na pagpupulong ng gabinete. Ang estimate ng iba umabot daw ng 10 oras. Sa katunayan, sa katunayan po, dahil papunta ako dito sa Cavite, umalis na po ako ng malapit na ng aluuna na umaga, pero hindi pa po natapos yung pagpupulong. Aside from receiving the draft constitution from the consultative committee, which he later instructed to be revised, particularly the transitory provisions, one of the highlights of last night's meeting was when Duterte acted on the Universal Health Care Bill, certifying it as urgent. Under this bill, provision to replace PhilHealth as Philippine Health Security Corporation will also be prioritized. It was also yesterday the cabinet approved the 3.757 trillion peso national budget proposal for 2019. Ang major expense po natin ay personal um, uh, services, 1.185 billion, maintenance expenditures, 562.9 billion, capital outlays, 752.7 billion, allotment to LGUs, 640.6 billion, support to GOCCs, 187.1 billion, tax expenditure, 14.5 billion, at debt burden, which is 14.1 billion. Again, Ang naaproban pong budget ng gabinete for the year 2019 is 3.757 trillion pesos. Other agenda of yesterday's 10-hour marathon meeting includes the creation of a separate department that focuses on disaster resilience, as promised by the president in his last year's SONA, and a discussion on the bill for the second phase of the agrarian reform. Some highlights about the upcoming SONA were also confirmed, particularly the 35-minute speech of the president, under the direction of known filmmaker Binibini Joyce Bernal. Duterte also shared during the meeting his 30-minute talk with the Catholic Bishop Conference of the Philippines President, Archbishop Romulo Valles. Sinabi nga po ng uh, Pangulo na matapos niyang uh, makausap si Archbishop uh, Valle ay hindi na po siya magsasipta tungkol sa uh, simbahan sa panandalian. No? Pagpapatuloy po natin ang dialogo, ang susunod po ay... Uh, Magkakaroon po ng panel ang CBCP na siyang makipagpu makipagpu makipagpupulong naman po dito po sa panel ng Malacanang na uh, tayo, tayo po ay kasapi. For Agriculture Secretary Manny Pinyol, the meeting that started from 4.30 p.m. and lasted at 2 in the morning was indeed very productive. For it has discussed and addressed substantive issues which included raging national concerns.